I don't know. I, I had questions for that like the other day. Well, like I would expect this from Diego, but definitely not for Banter. Funny enough that you say that. Um, both Diego and Bondosa went Game and Watch on me like the last tournament, and I had to put them both away to their mains. Oh, never mind. I'm starting to understand why. Up he had a shield. Yeah, I know. Yep, that's all he needs. This is. A, I remember now. This is a miserable matchup for Fox. For Fox. Yep, it's because, horrible. Yeah, because Fox can't touch a shield. Nope, not just, at all. Just he at has all. to bait, and even then, like. He okay, can't get much. However, we are seeing Banter just kind of throw by only doing key to land. Yep, I, I you would gotta love mix to, up the landing. I would love to see like a back air landing. I would love to see a nair landing. Yeah, because he's already getting called out. Like he's not mixing up his. Uh, his um, he, he could even do fair drift away. Uh -huh. Just the bomb will basically cover him. We are actually that's another thing we need to see. We need to see a lot more fairs. Fair is just such a great walling tool. It's so hard to beat. It definitely is. Hey. Almost crossed up. If but, he crossed up, he was dead. But matchup aside, the difference is Zero Waste hasn't playing Fox for a lot longer. As far as I know. Yeah, this. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, this this game watch looking a little bit unpolished right now. What did I say? I mean. I, I mean, some kind of commentator stress, I guess. But you're not wrong. It's very unpolished. Very unpolished. She's clearly un un um, uh, unfamiliar with his character. He's doing a lot of nares, which like I like a lot of nares. But back air is just equally a phenomenal tool. Uh, it, forward air is covers, again a phenomenal tool. We're not seeing any of that. Oh, definitely not. I feel like the bear would cover him a lot better too. Oh, you missed! Oh shoot. Um. But no, I do like the, uh, that he's actually bringing out the game and wants to try it. Because like, if this is something he actually wants to do, because he's been trying out like secondaries every now and then. Like he's often switching, so if he wants to stick with Game & Watch, then at least this is a good practice for now. Yeah, something interesting that we just saw, that was Smash is only invincible in the back kick. Once you lean forward, it's no longer invincible. Oh. So if he turned that up flash around, he would have gotten that kill. But since he didn't, he, he's now suffering for it. That is true. And again, that's just uh, going back to the unfamiliarity of the character. Uh, and that up smash is deceivingly fast and big too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh no, on the touch. So he's been doing this entire time. Zuri's just running, I'm making him look like a fool, honestly. He finally got an up smash that worked. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't like mash the down smash earlier. Even I do that. Like it's not necessarily wise, but people fall into it anyways. Yeah, of course. I mean, Zuri, if he has the lead, he doesn't need to do anything anymore. Oh, I yeah. would love to see him just laser cut. He could. That's all he has to do right now. Because uh, the the can. Like the project, the the oil spill is as strong as the projectile that I picked up. Yeah, and basically. Fox laser is basically nothing. Yeah, it's it's one damage, so you're not killing with it. So he shouldn't really fear at all. No that way. That actually worked. That was um, that was that was not good. That was crazy. <laughs> That I've played, I've made it a, uh, I made it a mission to circle cap the fuck out of them, just so they know it's not fun. <laughs> yep. And honestly, sometimes that's a smart play. Like even if you don't have to, like it's just a smarter thing to do. Like it, sometimes, like taking initiative can like backfire heavily. Sometimes, and it's not even worth it. Yeah. But now we're seeing the comfort pick come out. I don't understand why we didn't see this just game one. Like yeah, you want to like practice your game, your character, but. I feel like this is just so much better for him, both oh. in matchup and in um, and in familiarity. It definitely is. Because one thing to keep in mind is um, I would love to see Banter, specifically in this matchup, use a lot of roller, not necessarily to hit, but just to put um, just put paint down, just to slow down the enemy. Because oh yeah, you could definitely do that. Especially against this Fox, Fox who just loves to like get wants to get in on you, it's just gonna make it that much more hell for him to get anywhere close. And Banter's already doing a good job of just, you know, taking his time, just hitting where he needs to, and then running away. So I feel like the optimal spot where he just did is cover the centers of the stage, because you do not want to be at the ledge. You want to, like, have a uh, state control at all times. So having it in the center is a good spot. 
Now we're starting to see a lot of adaptation. Like throwing out some lasers now, putting on the pressure. If you're not gonna approach me, I'm gonna get Ooh. some damage. That actually hit him. Yeah, no, sometimes you gotta be careful with that. Roller will still hit, even if you have a hitbox every now and then. Roller is, roller is just a very goofy move. It is. That's why I make sure not to get hit by it anymore. Any other character, it would, be, it, it would make the character busted. But on this character, like, he needs it. Oh, he definitely <laughs> needs it. Otherwise, you're gonna live over 100 a lot of the time. Yeah. Now yeah, we're just seeing a lot of bread and butter right now. Nothing really crazy. Banter yep. is doing a really good job of just like testing and just making him approach and making him approach recklessly too. Yep. Oh wait, he didn't die. That was good DI, I think. I want Banter to start shielding a lot more because what is Fox going to do on a shield, you know? I mean, he'll grab him, but you're not going to die from it. So yeah, that would be the optimal play. Good up smash though. Just making, making yourself look like you're a lot farther away than you actually are on that shield does so much against in, in this match specifically because you get so much out of it. Because that back air is only safe if you space it. The moment he slightly misspaces it, it's, it's like a GG enhancer. You're going to get punished. Oh, definitely. Now, what I would like to see from Zero Weez is obviously like try to rack up damage as fast as he can, but like he needs to avoid Roller because like even, even though he's basically at kill percent, Roller is going to be the kill factor for Banter. Unless he gets an edge guard, but it is not easy to edge guard Fox sometimes. Uh, I mean, it can be. The thing is, is like, and this is something that I've told Banter multiple times, is that you need to force someone to to uh, recover the way you want them to, so then you can edge guard it. And that's oh. not something that he does. So with with Fox, you need to be, um, you, you need to you need to beat out his side beat in order to force him to go low, and you get a free free edge guard every single time. Oh, definitely. And, that's, and like that's something that I think that Banter just lacks a lot of so that recognition because whenever he knows he's gonna side me he can just run off air like he almost got it there oh, but definitely. he can run off air and just force him to either punish him and the next time he's probably gonna go low he's not gonna side me or he's gonna go high and he's gonna side me um well, he died uh, from that. what what was that di there's no way that killed the center stage no no shot i mean i know he jumped but like maybe it could have been bad di like you said but yeah, no, like the side B itself, like it has time to react to. So if you just do nothing or even like jump off stage, you can probably like catch it with a double jump fair or something. Well, this game is now even, which is not something I was expecting. What a huge, so it went from like a huge lead to basically even now. Yeah, he got one Nair to up smash at like, at like 70, 80% and it killed. And that is much more reliable than Roller. I'm gonna say that now. Oh yeah, it's so it's much more versatile than Roller. Yeah, both these, I like how Zeroes is holding that center stage. Look at look at how Zeroes is holding center stage right now. He he's just taking his time, throwing a lot of uh, lasers, and throwing out moves that will that will. Um, oh, that was that bad. Will but he got out. He almost had that lead again too, but it's not looking bad for either player right now. Yeah, this is this is a toss up for anyone right now. It's whoever gets uh, the next, I think, two neutral interactions will probably take this. I love these jump mix-ups that z are doing right now. He's doing a phenomenal job at it. Uh, it's definitely helping him out here, too. If he's committing less, he is less likely to get punished. I would love an up smash there. I would have loved an up smash there from Banter. I never seen him do that. I don't know if it's worth it, but... It probably it would have killed. In my opinion, I think like, oh. it probably would have killed. Hey, but... He can't land. No, like, he can't. This can. character can't land, so... Good job on Zero Ease. 